This has nothing to do with anyone being special. This is one of the biggest myths and the biggest barriers to finding your own freedom today is this idea that it's somewhere else, someone else, somehow else. It's just not me. And all of my experiences that I'm having are unawakened, uninteresting or too interesting or painful or not quite right or even slightly off where I want them to be. So even the most happiest person who's been the best at making their life. So all of the goals that we have as human beings and people have goals throughout their, their, their life. Even if you find the person that's hit the most of them, like think of someone that you maybe have idolized at some point. I, I really like a musician called Michael Franti and he travels the world and his music's funky and he does concerts and you know he's you know great family great everything even the people that have the most alignment with all of their goals like the the person who's at the top of the whole human list it's like uh, it's not quite right like there's no one that's arrived at this imaginary location that we're all looking for. Can you imagine if like, I kept telling you, I'm trying to find the island of Beelzebub. And you're like, where's that? I'm like, oh, it's an island in the Atlantic I've heard about in the, the tropical part of the Atlantic that has free fruit and beaches. And you're like, oh, have you ever, no. Have you ever met anybody who's been there? No. Have you ever seen any, any like photographs of it? No. Yeah, but I'm gonna go there. And you're like, yeah, let's all go there. <laughs> we're all going around trying to find the mythical island of Beelzebubbo, or whatever it's called, and no one, no one, someone that just says, wait there, no one's ever been there or found it. And this is this imaginary place that we all seek. And it's just, it's just, it's, what's really funny, it's really quite funny, because we're already on the island of Beelzebubbo. Right? <laughs> That's what makes it the funniest, is we're already on it, but we don't see it. So we're looking for something that doesn't, exist because what we think it is doesn't exist that might sound a bit confusing so i say it in a much more simpler way welcome home welcome home welcome home welcome home you are already home you are already in a completely benevolent universe you you are the benevolent universe you don't even have the capacity to be in it. Your perceptions are the radiant dynamic energy of that benevolent universe. So whatever you think of, think of like uh, a really nasty tasting mouldy fruit that you hate and a durian as well, a mouldy durian, right? That appears as the perceptions of a benevolent and beautiful universe. Its description is like nasty, dank, disgusting, right? But it appears as the benevolent expression of a wondrous universe. So the descriptions don't have power over the universe as it is. And that universe is not a thing, it's you, it's awareness. The, the way that I like to describe it, and, and I will say this probably every time, because this is a repetitive recognition of your own true nature. It's the same as when if I project onto a mirror that ugly piece of fruit that's stale and durian-like, and the mirror's like, whatever, it's unstained. I've never met a mirror that can say whatever, but you know what I mean? And then you project the most glorious, delicious fruit that you've ever come across that just makes you salivate and it's beautiful. The mirror is unstained. The mirror doesn't try to reject the image of the smelly durian fruit, which I love durians by the way, it just, this is a moldy one. It doesn't go, like try to darken that part of the mirror or cut it out and say, that's not me, or take that part of the mirror to therapy and say, can you fix it, right? And then it doesn't, with the beautiful fruit that's delicious and, and desirous, it doesn't try to hold that reflection there and put it in a little box or make a picture of it and try and keep it forever. It just allows 
whatever is expressed as its own dynamic energy to be exactly as it is. And the mirror remains stainless.